Yeah. Joining us now on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline, he was the quarterback coach here in 1981 for BYU football. Now he's the president of the San Diego Bowl Game Association. Ted Tolner joining BYU Sports Nation. Ted, it's nice to have you back on the show. Good morning, guys. Always good to talk to somebody up there in Cougar country. Hey, we're looking at your picture with that uh, bright red poinsettia bowl blazer on. Are you wearing that right now? <laughs> no, they would like me to wear it all the time, though. But no, but, but <laughs> that is, that's our official uniform. I hope the red doesn't offend you guys. It, no, because we know it's not from Utah. So, yeah, it's, <laughs> well, I, it's, it's all good. Well, we've had that, we've had that problem before, though. <laughs> What what are preparations like for you and the bowl game? And I know you guys do the holiday bowl as well. Uh, but as you prepare for what could be an invitation tomorrow afternoon to BYU, should they beat Southern Utah? Well, we're sure hoping that happens because over the years, uh, I don't think there's been a university that has done as much for our bowl association, whether it be holiday bowl or poinsettia bowl, than BYU. You just look at the number of times and the great games that we're looking forward to. But, but the preparation from from my new standpoint, you know, as a coach, all you worry about is trying to get your team ready to win enough games so your players can go to a bowl game, and your alumni is happy, and your coaches are happy, and your administration. But now I'm on the other side of it, where you you know there's a there's a lot more to the preparation and organization, so that the fans that come to a game enjoy the game more than just the football game. You know, all the things that go around a bowl week are all new to me. Coaching, you don't you don't really have to worry about any of that stuff. You just need to win games. What's the plan tomorrow if BYU wins in terms of an invitation being extended? Well, the plan is to extend it. I mean, we they will officially have six games with two left, and, and, and uh, if they win tomorrow, they have a possibility to get to eight. But either way, six qualifies them, and, and we want to make the official invitation to them because we're excited. I mean, every time BYU has come down here and been part of our bowl games, it's been a success. And uh, so – the reputation of the university is outstanding. And I look at this team this year, see, even though they're sitting there at five and four, the four losses by a total of eight points against very good teams. Uh, it's a good football team. It's got great resilience. Which Mountain West opponents are you looking at as potential candidates against BYU in this game? Well, you know, that that the, the games remain to play will determine that, but we're – where if I had to just say right now where I think the odds are, I believe between Wyoming, Air Force, San Diego State. Now, there's also other schools that could, could fit in depending how the games unfold, but those would look like the leaders now, and depending how that unfolds, and I, I don't say Boise State. Boise was here last year, and I think uh, you know even though they have an excellent record, they could also fit in that picture, but we believe it'll be – a combination of Air Force, Wyoming, San Diego State. You might put Colorado State in there. They have enough games. So it's still wide open there, but it's going to be a good opponent and will make, I, I think, a heck of a, a good football game. Given the following that BYU has and Boise State being in the West, would a rematch intrigue you at all because of maybe the buzz and the hype and the ticket sales that would go around, something like that? You know, that's a good question. You know, we felt like no in the fact that the schools may not want to have a repeat game. And so right now that is not a priority. But as we all know in the bowl game, uh, the way they unfold, you never really know until it's final. All we know for sure is that boys, that Brigham Young qualifies if they win their sixth game, which we hope is tomorrow, and they're going to be one side of it. The other will have to shake itself down. What's it like uh, from the, the Bowl Game Association in terms of how it shakes out for you guys? Because there's potential, should Western Michigan lose, maybe San Diego State uh, is a group of five representative. Uh, does, does, is there a certain pick for certain bowls, like is Vegas one and Poinsettia Bowl two or something? Well, that, that's basically how it is. I mean, there's, there's, the commissioners are involved, and there's a little more to it, but the only chance for someone to get in to the, the Cotton Bowl, you know, in, in that situation is you have to be the league champion and be the highest rated team of which you just mentioned Western Michigan is, you know, so, you know, still an outside chance would be Boise State, a very good chance if San Diego State ran the table and Western Michigan lost, that would be the choice of all the schools would be to go to the Cotton Bowl. After that, it's really that combination of Las Vegas Bowl and the Poinsettia Bowl, and then there's other people that the commissioner gets involved with trying to get the other Mountain West teams placed. So that's where it becomes a little bit uncertain. 
Ted Tolner, the president of the San Diego Bowl Game Association, with us on BYU Sports Nation. What activities are planned for BYU fans if and when they attend San Diego and the Poinsettia Bowl? You know, that, that again is something. The bowl games with 41 bowls. Now, this is something new to me also, is that you need to have, you need to provide more for the fan experience than just the football game. And that's that's new to me. I've always come from, well, let's put on a great football game. That's all you need, and the fans will enjoy it, and their families will enjoy it. Well, the competition is getting to the point now where we are adding a fan fest. We've got parades. We've got downtown activities. We've got discounts on tickets to restaurants that are all part to make the fan ex- to enhance the fan experience in addition to the game. So there's going to be plenty of things going on, whether it's uh, – you know, students coming here or adults and their families and kids, we're trying to do that so that we can have the quality game and a fan experience in addition to it that when they go home they say, hey, that was really fun, regardless of the outcome, even though each university wants to win the thing. Yeah, all I heard was BYU football in the city of San Diego. That's all I needed. I don't even need to know the opponent, to be honest, uh, and, and I want to be there. San Diego State has played in the Poinsettia Bowl every other year the last couple of years. Is this a situation where uh, if they don't make a group of five game that – Maybe you'd want to try and get San Diego State in this game again after that 2012 game was such a good game between those two? Well, you know, I have, I would love that. Just I know we're talking personally now because coaching, I coached actually 16 years at San Diego State as a coordinator and a head coach, and, and I always thought the BYU-San Diego State game was great fun. Even though they won more than we did, it was a great <laughs> challenge. And, and the rivalry was, was really good. So, but, you know – any of those three the teams we talked about, I think, will make an outstanding football game and one that BYU would be happy to be part of. That that opinion about San Diego State and BYU is, is a personal one that I think would be outstanding, but we'll see again how it all works out. What's the weather like in San Diego in December, Ted? Well, if it's like today, my wife and I just took a walk this morning before I get ready to go to the airport here, and it is going to be 80 degrees on the water today. <laughs> it's like a summer. Now, I can't, we can't guarantee that in December. The game being on December 21st, you know, that that before Christmas time in there. But normally it's pretty good. I mean, our winters are, are pretty good. We're not a heavy rain we don't have that, that white stuff that comes down, as you know, that you guys get. But it's, the odds are that it'll be good. But there's been times when the game has had rain. But it's, it's, it's been far, far less than having real nice weather. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to hope for uh, low 70s and sunshine. <laughs> Well, we are, too. We want you to have a great time, and, and we're going to ho- hope that the teams will put on the, the competition of the game, and we're going to try to provide all those other things so that it's a, a real good fan experience. Ted, it's great to talk to you again. We appreciate the insight into uh, BYU's potential opponent and the invitation that the Cougars are hoping they receive tomorrow. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you. Hope to see you guys tomorrow. You All got right. it. Bye-bye. Ted Tolner joining us on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, your values, your timeline, your financial future. And when